Welcome back to Venus Fridays when love speaks. I wanted to tell you something exciting. Venus and Mars are an aspect to each other this weekend. So over the next couple of days, the next three days, Venus and Mars together mean that it's a great time to meet someone new. It's a great time to begin a friendship that possibly could bloom into something more. And this is exciting because Venus and Mars don't always come together, right? Um, Venus is the planet of love. Mars is the planet of passion. So when you bring love and passion together, there's the possibility for fireworks, right? And also, it's important to realize that these energies are energies that are inside of us all the time anyway. So I would encourage us to look inside and find out the things that move us as a way to move forward in finding people that reflect us, right? So instead of being something that you're not, astrology is asking you to find out more clearly who you are in detail so that when you have these energies, these opportunities like this weekend to meet someone, you don't just go to a bar because a bar may not be the place for you to, to, to feel comfortable so that your real self can come out, right? A bar, if I go to a bar right now, I'm gonna be feeling stiff. If I go sit at a bar, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not going to sit at a bar anyway because I'm happily married. But um, if, I, if I weren't, I would be not trying to go to a bar because the bar is not going to be the place where I feel good, where I feel relaxed, where I feel at peace, where I can shine, right? Why would I do that just because everybody else goes to a bar? Right? So astrology says, find out who you are. Find out the depth, the detail of what makes you tick, what makes you feel like you matter, what makes you feel like you contribute to the situations that you're in. And then do those things. I like to talk to people. So I would go someplace where I could have a conversation, not um, a conversation over loud music or a conversation where I'm, you know, pretend sipping on a drink. <laughs> that just would just be ridiculous. I also am an exercise enthusiast, although you might not be able to tell it now from this COVID gut. But, um, you know, maybe the bike trail, maybe the walking path in the park, maybe you will find me at the bookstore. I love books. I love learning. I love going to be around books and just soak up the vibe. It's almost like I can get it from osmosis. I love books so much. So my point is you have to find out what makes you feel like you are thriving and makes you feel good from deep inside. Then, when you have a weekend like we have now with Venus and Mars in aspect, the, the, two, two, the two planets that represent loving and, and coming together, then you go do that thing. And then you are vibrating. You're like uh, a, a flower in the springtime. And you're blooming and your colors come out. And then... You attract the bee who wants to inject you and take your nectar. <laughs> okay. 
I don't mean to go too far <laughs> in this analogy. I just really want you to know there's good energy out now over the next several days for relationships. And really, all of that energy that we're talking about is not just on the outside. It's also internally available. And you have to find a way to bring it out. And it's not through being who you're not. It's about being authentic. It means if you like to skydive, go skydiving. If you like to build furniture, build furniture. If you like to deal with gardening, go garden. You'll meet somebody at Home Depot this weekend in the garden section or Lowe's or wherever you go. That's not an advertisement for any of those stores. You can go to the, the nursery and you'll find someone who you vibe with because you are vibing so deeply in yourself that you can't help but attract. So it's already in you. You don't have to go outside to find it. Have you ever had this experience where someone, you ever looked for a car, you thought about buying a car and, and you see something you hadn't seen, you saw a car that you loved, um, but you had never really seen it out on the street before. And then what happens? As soon as you identify it, you start to see it everywhere you go. Everywhere you look, you see that car. Well, it's the same thing with love. Once you identify what your loving nature is and the things that turn you on, the things that move you, then you will put yourself in the situation where you start to attract it. It starts to become more visible to you because you have identified it already in yourself. So I don't wanna preach, I just wanna be very emphatic that the love you seek on the outside is already available and it's been there all the time on the inside. So no matter what anyone says, don't be discouraged and don't do what everybody else does. Do what's unique to you and do it with joy and do it consistently. You will find that person who reflects that light inside of you. I hope this inspires someone and I hope that you will let go of needing to be like anybody else or do what anyone else is doing to find what matters with you. And of course, you can always reach out to us if you want more information about what your specific love nature is. And you do that through our website, www.astrologicastrology.com, or you can contact us on YouTube here or on Instagram. So love is there. It's been there all the time. You have to bring it out of yourself, not, uh, as I've said, through expecting it to just happen on the outside. All right. Wishing you love and peace always and saying goodbye the way we always do with the Sanskrit term namaste. The spirit in me recognizes and honors the spirit in you. Desire.